How's it going, guys? Welcome back to The Blue Shifting, and welcome back to the most bizarre day of our lives in Sunrider. <laughs> so, Sunrider Liberation Day, as you know, because you saw the title of the video. But I gotta do the intro anyway because it makes it feel nice. <laughs> so, we kinda had to abandon ship. Sunrider's lost, but we were saved, ironically, from Lynn, or ly33 you know the prototype who we had captured uh like the last second she got us off and now we've been rescued by the blackjack because osaka kind of like had her intuition sensinesses figure out that we were still out there so we've got to figure out what happens now um pact and alliance are gunning each other down again we were able to save our planet but now we're on the run again believed to be traitors and terrorists and all the terrible things you could ever imagine being like it's not good so we're gonna find out what happens um we also know that we've lost chigara we also know that claude is not what she appears she's effectively a q uh if you're not familiar with q look up q from star trek you'll pretty much get the gist or discord from mlp my little pony pretty much the same thing so i had all the weepy knees from her for nothing freaking sucks but anyway and te technically it seems that Shigara might still kind of be alive because um if you remember we killed the person who was the Vizicar, the like the prototype who was leading pact but she still was able to influence and possess Shigara and have her pull the trigger however it seems that Shigara was also able to do something I think and that would be explaining why Lynn decided to suddenly rescue us so we're gonna figure out more about those details probably in this episode let's see what happens I have no clue what to expect oh I guess one last thing apparently the original game that wasn't the captain's edition actually did end with the Sunrider explosion and apparently it was kind of a darker ending which I'm actually a fan of I mean they're sad but they can be kind of real kind of like a well I don't know spoiler it's been a while but Rogue One kind of the same thing where like and it's not really a happy ending, but it's a happy ending kind of a thing. You know, we would have saved the planet, but at the cost of us, possibly. However, not the case. We get the advanced special edition ending, so we're going to see what happens. All right, uh, enough blabbing. Let's get into it. The Blackjack finally detached from the bridge, bridge escape pod from its tow cable. All right, Captain, we're here. Oh, that's the thing. The reason why the voice acting is done, because this was a patch, like it added on to the end. So there's no voice acting from here on out. So you can have my lovely voice attempting to do it all. And I, I, I kind of missed it, honestly, but we're going to do that. A small cargo transport was awaiting them. The Sunriders rider, uh, Sun riders, riders clamped onto the transport and made the preparations for warp. That'd be kind of scary. <laughs> it's like, hold on tight. The escape pod's gates hissed as the pod docked with the transport's airlock. Whose transport is this, I wonder? The gate rolled open. Shields emerged. Captain! Oh, fetch, man. Oh, we are not looking very good. <laughs> Jeez. Asaga lunged at him and gave him the longest embrace that she'd ever... That she, the long embrace that she'd desired for so long. I, I can't believe I just found you like that. I knew... I just knew you couldn't have died. I knew it. Shields managed to grit a smile. Almost died. But not quite. Captain, I'll, I'll never stop protecting you again. I'll never give you up. I let this happen. I should never have left. No, Osaka. None of what happened was your fault. I'm sorry. Dang, dude, this is the... Let's take a moment and just appreciate this... We're finally finished, and then everyone's just in tears, and it's sad, and it's, it's, oh my gosh, what... Like, think about what happened. We literally had victory yanked from us after years of fighting, and now we don't even know what's going to happen. Chikara, Chikara really was a prototype. I can't believe it. She betrayed you. She betrayed everyone after... Oh, that! I can't. No, Chigara didn't betray me. The other prototype. She used the Neuralink to control Chigara. In the end, the prototypes are to blame for everything. Stop it, Captain! Chigara hurt you! 
after playing with your feelings like that to turn to you and kill everyone. She, she should rot in hell, no matter what happens. I'll never forgive her. That's no. You moron! I really thought you put the bullet there. Don't do that to me. How am I supposed to just watch you die? Don't you know that there are people who care about you? What are we all supposed to do if you're not here anymore? No, oh, Akari, that's so emotional for you. She's normally the tsundere. Oh, there it goes. You idiot, 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 idiot. Or the bakas, if you want. Insert bakas there. Trying to beat a hero when you're just an idiot. Don't be a hero. Just... I want you to be an idiot from now on. <laughs> She's so cute. Yes. It was a grim moment. I thought all was lost, that the Sun Rider had perished, that we had returned too late. Even though I have witnessed such atrocities in my era, none of the sorrows of my past compared with the weight of knowing that you were truly gone. I think this would have more impact if I played the original ending. Dang. Thanks to you, I feel more at home 2,000 years from my own timeline, here, alongside all of you, than I did amongst the Reuvians. You showed me that I was not a pawn to be sacrificed, that men are not all vile monsters who merely seek the greed of their hearts. I am relieved. So that the captain who gave me the honor, that gave me a home still lives. Captain, while well, staying aboard the Sun Rider during the evacuation procedure was the right decision under military protocol, I am glad that things turned out this way. The crew still needs you. The mission is still far from over. Pax still retains control of Sarah, and the massacre of the most Alliance military leadership will no doubt return the war in their favor. No doubt countless more battles await you before you can return to the liberated Sarah. A leader must not throw away his life so easily. Well, I mean, he didn't know that he could save his life, honestly. And where's Lynn? She's probably trying to run away. You still have many things left to accomplish. Everyone. I'm, t I'm sorry to worry you all, but I had to stay on board the ship. I still hear echoes of Ava's voice that day. Captain, your order, and the words which came out of my mouth, still. When I gave the order to abandon Sarah, the packed fleet of the day of the invasion. When I left my sister to die before my very eyes. That was really sad. That was... That was absolutely awful. I'm keeping it together, guys. I'm keeping it together. I fled like a coward, unable to even look at the killer in the, my killer in the eye. Since then, her ghost has haunted me every night. And this time, I saw it happen all over again. Just when I thought we had won. Just when I believed everything was over. When... I thought I could finally go back home and put everyone's ghosts to rest. When I thought I could rebuild the family that I had lost. Everything. Everything was snatched away. But a second. Everything we had worked for. Chikara killed. Just like my sister. Our hard won peace completely shattered at my feet. That's. That's when I knew. This time. This time I could not order the Sun Rider to fall back. No matter the impossible odds, no matter the strength of my enemy, this time I had to stand my ground. Stare at Death's Maw with both eyes open and welcome its embrace. I don't know. I don't know what your thoughts are on Death. We all face it. I think we're all kind of scared of it. But it's weird to say that despite the fact that obviously I don't want to die, I feel like to this point in my life, I actually have lived and learned in a way that I am proud of who I am. I am confident of the people who I truly care about and who truly care about me, like the crew of the Sunrider and their captain. And should the worst ever happen to me, it's weird to say, but I'd be okay with it. I mean... I would certainly not want it to happen, but I wouldn't have regrets. 
The only regrets I would have would be abandoning thy family and friends. Most specifically, my, uh, my, of course, my close family, my wife and kids. I would hate to leave them behind, but I would know that I'd done good and right by them and by everyone else I'd met, that I'd overcome any failings I'd made, and that I like who I am, and I'm happy. I'm genuinely happy with my life. Despite its flaws, despite its weaknesses, despite my health issues, <laughs> it's like I'm genuinely a happy person. I've had to learn that the hard way, like all of us, but I hope that if you haven't achieved that yet, I hope you do. I hope that you can, when the time comes, for all of us, but stare into the maw with eyes wide open. Obviously, I don't know. I've never genuinely faced my death before. I've had some close calls. But I do feel at peace with life. And I, I think a good so sign that you feel at peace with life is knowing that you would easily give yours up for others. Like, for your family, for those you care about. I know I would. I know it. I don't. I can't explain it, but I just know it. I love visual novels. They bring it all so real. And so I don't see this scene as just a touching scene where the survivors get together. I see it as a manifestation of a truth I hope to continue to live. And that is having the people who I care about be able to be close and to to be a family. Regardless of blood, regardless of heritage, race, or, or religion, or anything that makes us different. I'm done. I'm sorry. I, I know I ramble a lot in these, but these are moments that I think we need to stop and think about a little bit more. That's what games like this are supposed to be for. It's not just blindly playing through. That's why I have this camera. It's easy if you wanted to just watch the whole game or play the game yourself. But you're coming here... Because I hopefully can offer you something that you enjoy, and that you and your friends and, and can enjoy and think about, and this is one of them. It's, I hope that you can think about where you think you stand on the day the maw comes to swallow you. And if you are uncomfortable with that thought, that means you probably need to think about it. Anyway. And only then could I be judged worthy of having done my duty to my world to my family, to my ship. Stop it! I was trying to sound all cool. What good would you have been if you'd been dead? I'm sorry. I am back, everyone. I'm still alive. Captain. <sighs> Sir. Captain. Ahem. <clears throat> Well, Captain, I see that you are still energetic as ever, even after completely destroying the ship. <laughs> Commander. I'm not joking, Captain. There was still a solid stack of paperwork yet to be completed on board the ship when it went down. I love Ava. <laughs> I love you so much, Ava. Good grief. Do not believe for a second that it gets you off the hook on the work, on, what, on the work that you owe me. Understood. I'll try my best to make amends, sir. Yes, yes, I'm certainly sympathized with your position, Captain. <clears throat> uh, Shields finally realized the saga was still clinging to him, and decided to detach himself, lest the move become more awkward. Alright, everyone, break it up. Show's over, get back to work. We have a lot of work to do. Ava shooed the pilots and the rest of the surviving crew away from the best, to the best of her ability. was the situation. Following the destruction of the Machiavelli Actual and the consequent loss of the Tactical Paradox Corps, the Alliance made a hasty retreat out of Sarah before the Pax fleet could organize an offensive. The Alliance fleet now holds position at the nearby neutral rim world of Barona and no doubt prepping a counterattack. Meanwhile, Pact has responded by co consolidating all their forces to Sarah. The two sides now stare each other down, waiting for an opportunity to strike. We managed to use the chaos during the retreat to squeeze everyone into eight life pods and then tow them to safety using our rider squad, but as you can see, the situation is dire. 
It appears we are once again back to square one, as Pax still retains control of our home world. Even worse, we are now without a ship. For now, both the Alliance and Pact believe you are dead, and given our position, I would rather keep that assumption. That is a good plan. I have managed to arrange safe passage on board the cargo runner Tidari to Tidaria, where you will go into hiding. In the meantime, I intend to hear, head to Reuvia Prime with our Queen and see what military assets I can I can acquire. Me? Yes, that would be you. But, but I thought we were all going to stay together. Our first priority is to keep the captain from being discovered until we know we can get a new ship. Well, that's depressing. And the Pact will not consolidating their forces as Sarah, Reuvia Prime has never been more open. I have heard interesting things about Reuvia's moon from the Alliance Intel. Pray that pray tell that you do not know anything about it yourself. Look, that artificial moon is just folklore that people spread to remind themselves how great we used to be. People of all sorts say all sorts of things, like that moon's actually an enormous battle station with the firepower to destroy an entire planet. As the not so subtle Star Wars reference. <laughs> Or that it's actually a portal to another dimension. But my dad told me himself that the moon's completely useless. Just another derelict piece of lost technology which didn't do anything. If it actually had any use, we would have already used it to defend ourselves, right? Ruvia used to be powerful hundreds of years ago. We had ships powerful as the Sun Rider. But today, all we have are little corvettes and frigates. Nothing capable of launching riders or fighting pact. Well then, why was Vizicar Arcadius so intent on conquering Ruvia Prime? During his occupation, Arcadius, or rather the prototypes, funneled trillions of credits into excavating that moon. The moon holds something, and I intend to discover what it is. Ah, well, I, I guess it's a lead. Even though it's kind of a long shot. <laughs> what else do we have, really? While we are investigating Ruvia's moon, one of us should remain with the captain to guard him, someone with personal combat experience. Then I... I volunteer to remain with the captain on Tidaria. Sola! I... I should not have ever left him. My aim will not falter in his defense ever again. But I... will be coming with me to Ruvia Prime. Yep. You can help the captain by preparing a replacement vessel for him. Besides, what good would you be in a fight? Seriously. Oh, Sola, not you too. Oh, that's really sad. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Sola leaned into a saga. Fear not. I merely seek to apply my marksmanship in defending him from his enemies. I have no intention of any indiscretions. Uh, I guess Sola's right. After all, she is the more cool-headed person I know. I'll definitely come back with the biggest, baddest ship we can find for the captain. After that, it'll just be like old times again. And now, with Chikar gone, I can... Alright, I guess it's okay. Someone who's good at fighting has to guard the captain, after all. Well, in that case, I'll head out to find my old black market contacts. I doubt the mining union's going to be help, uh, help us anymore, or that's completely destroying the Alliance flagship. We're going to need a new source of equipment for what's to come, and mercs. I know where to get them. <clears throat> the black market? Doesn't look like we have a choice. We are, essentially, fugitives from the law now. So, while this may be disappointing news, I intend to turn myself into the Alliance. Huh? You can't do that! They'll definitely have you tried for treason and hung! No, the alliance that I believe in just is a just and fair nation. What the alliance tried to do with Sarah was wrong. I will return and see what I can do to restore our support from the alliance. If no one w if no, once the truth of what occurs at Sarah comes out, I believe the system will I believe that system will vindicate us. There is no way anyone in the Solar Alliance would approve of destroying an entire planet, no matter the circumstances. We still need the Alliance's support, or else we have no hope of liberating Sarah. Boy, oh, you're being way too naive. There's no way anyone in the Solar Congress is ever going to admit that they tried to collapse an entire nuclear rim planet into a black hole. We don't know that unless we try first. Ah, oh, 
Don't come crying to me when I have to bust you out of Maximum Security Alliance prison. Huh. <laughs> if the worst really comes to pass, then I'm sure I can count on your expertise. Aw, seriously, idiot. Well then, it's all settled. No, not quite yet. We have one more thing. Lynn. Shield reached into the escape pod and pulled Lynn out. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I know, right? Please. Prototype! Captain, what is she? She's the reason why I'm still here. She saved me, pulled me from the bridge while I was unconscious, and put me inside the escape pod. It's a trick. We all know this is how they operate. They seek to gain our trust. Prototype! I say we just throw her out the airlock right now. We don't need any of their lies anymore. I kind of agree. Normally I'm against such practices, but in this case... Oh, what do you mean she saved you? I thought the prototypes were our enemies. Chikara. I think she's still alive. And she's trying to take control of all the prototypes. Or at least that's what Lin seems to be saying. I think Chigara temporarily took control of Lin and used her to save me. No, Captain! Don't listen to that nonsense! Besides, Chigara was a prototype just like the rest of them, and look where that believing got her to- got her to- uh, uh, believing her got us. Hey, well, maybe we should keep- still keep her around. We need to keep tabs on the enemy, and Lin here is our only source of intel. Even if she's one of them. We've got to use everything at our, our, our disposal right now. Besides, she got kind of a big mouth. I'm sure if we keep talking, she'll keep spilling the beans. She could be useful as a tool. In any matter, I do not believe we can perform an, exec an execution in here, in, in here at this moment. But perhaps at another location. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 okay. I think we're gonna have to cut Gagger Binder because. Quite honestly, despite the fact that she saved me, she obviously wasn't a fan of the fact of the idea. So, uh, I think we should just keep her close, close eye on her, but keep her uh, very well secured. I mean, good grief! What could she do if she's allowed to roam free? I'd like, to, I'd like to win her trust. I really would. But we, uh, we've had a very stark reminder of what we need to be careful of. Understood. Yeah, we're gonna gag her, gag her, bind her. What? You? How did there? Subduing hostile. Human filth! Kuska grabbed hold of Lynn before she could scurry away. Lynn flailed her arms up and down like wings as the car grabbed a roll of duct tape from the escape pod supply cask and thoroughly mummified Lynn. With a thud, they tossed Lynn into the wooden crate and nailed the lid shut. Hostile neutralized. Shields looked out the holoport. So much had happened, and they were on the verge of defeat. He saw his dirty, exhausted face in a reflection. Was this face still fit to lead them? Ava's face appeared beside his. Captain, despite all this, we will always be by your side. I... Ava. I apologize, Captain. I... Never realized it until I believed I had truly lost you. When you gave the evacuation order, no, e even before that. I had always wanted to say, before the Battle of Helion, when you needed me the most, I was not... I did not answer your feelings truthfully. Ava. I was overcome with my responsibilities. The burden of my duty to liberate Sarah made me forget about the real ties that bind us. I was too strict and stiff. If if I had just answered your feelings truthfully that day, then none of this would have ever happened. If if I had just said what I'd wanted. Ultimately, it was the rift I created between us that day which doomed our mission. The prototypes exploited it, 
and used it to put a spy inside our ranks. In hindsight, I should have known. A ship where the captain and the exo cannot communicate is doomed to fall. So, I want to say this now. Hi guys! So, I had a really terrifying thing that has happened. My computer, like, just gave up on everything. I think it just got too depressed and sad about what's going on and just kind of just had an internal meltdown. <laughs> she did, like, it first hard stopped recording, even though I had plenty of memory. And then the audio got corrupted ish. It's really hard to, to say because I was able to save the file properly, and then I was trying to scrub the audio real quick just to make sure I didn't forget to do it later. And that file got corrupted, and I lost it. But thankfully, I have the core, so we should, hopefully the audio's been okay up till now. <laughs> uh, I had to restart the computer, and now everything seems to be working after I installed a few updates, so let's hope that it doesn't do that again. Uh, that was terrifying. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, no, I'm not losing 30 minutes of stuff. But we're back, so... I'm going to probably end up rereading a few lines because I know I'm close to where I was when I left off, but I don't want to, like, spoil the mood by, like... And, and if I skip it again, I have to come right back. And, like, I want to make sure that we don't miss it. So, I'm, forgive me if I repeat a few lines, but we should be here. Ava is confessing her regrets at what happened at the end of the first game. Now that I've finally been given a second chance. Oh, so sad. I have never forgotten the promise we made that night. That we would sail the stars together, Captain and Commander. And the mightiest ship of the Sarah Space Force. Together, as one, no matter the impossible odds. I know, Ava. I, I always knew. I'm sorry. It was my fault for pushing you away. Yes. Kato! Hey, Commander! That's unfair! What about me? I was the one going to warn you about Shigara, the most to remember. Ugh, if only you'd just listen to me, Captain. Stop ruining our motor, Saga, dang it! <laughs> Still, my offer stands. A Saga de Ryuvia, Hero of Justice, at your service, sir. If you need a supervillain taken down, you know who to call. Also comes with the bonus of kissing the maiden into the sunset after everything's over. It's, holy crap, people. Calm down, girls. Please, calm down. <laughs> uh-huh. How about it, Captain? I've always been on your side. Except for the time you tried to kill someone that was on our team. Despite being right, that still is wrong. Kind of. Except, except she's right. And if she'd succeeded, we would have won. Oh man, that sucks. She would have been willing to. She would have effectively given up any chance with me, and could have saved everything. Gosh, darn it! I hate that. Ugh. What? What is this stupidest love fest? <laughs> Can't believe you guys still even think about, even like this guy. Just look at him. Totally got backstabbed by his new girlfriend. Like literally just days after going out. Totally ruined everything we fought for the past year, and on top of that, completely vaporized our ship. I'm the most unreasonable space captain in all history, space captains. I can't believe I like I like a guy like him. Oh, fetch. Ugh. I I I mean, come on, you have your girlfriend. Come on. It, it, it's not like I like you or anything. Ugh. Jeez. Kai just ran screaming across the cargo bay and hid behind a stack of crates. Captain, I understand we'll be spending much time together from now. Perhaps we should get closer. Hey, you... Hold the phone! You said you were going to keep your hands off! Uh! In the end, even Sola... No way! Huh. You are quite a popular man, Captain. Looks like your life is difficult in more ways than one. No way. For defeating Pact and liberating Sarah, at this rate, my real problem might be managing these girls. <laughs> it's Kato the Harem Lord. <laughs> Jeez. Just what, what else could possibly go wrong? Oh, why? Dude? Suddenly, sparks blew through the comm room as the space time portal ripped open, sending an explosion of wind throughout the room. Oh, I know what this is. 
Stacks of cargo crates fell everywhere, and on top of the mess was... Uh, <laughs> I can't even do it. Why are you alive? Uh, uh, that sure was a messy entry. Pro T. What? <laughs> that good for nothing but fan service incompetent nympho woman is back. Oh. Vizicar S. Fontana stood on the bridge of the assault carrier of Evictus. Ooh, you're new. Ah. Vizicar A. Kushana entered the bridge, visibly impressed by the numerous upgrades the proud vessel had received since its, its service at the Compact Revolution. You've grown, boy. Huh, welcome back from your exile, Kushana of the Many Miracles. Your exploits against the new empire are still sung in packed space to this day. I was there myself to witness you dispatch no less than an entire Imperial flotilla in the mere moments using nothing but mere destroyers over the skies of Thrilla. It was truly unfortunate that one such as yourself was exiled by the madwoman Alice. Leaders of your caliber have been sorely lacking in the packed fleet thus far. Flattery will get you nowhere, Caesar. By my order, your position as High Admiral of the Crimson Fleet is hereby reinstated. You once held back the Imperial fleets a thousand strong using nothing more than a dozen of scrapped pirate ships. Now you will defend our land from the coming Imperialists. Not with obsolete frigates, but with the full might of Pax Industrial Base. Huh. You were just a boy when Arcadius picked you off the street of Thralia. To think you would now leave what he started. It's been so many years. Alice's failure was set in the moment she set out to lead Pax. She was about a broken, destitute girl when Arcadius met her. Her home destroyed, her entire life in shambles. He took her in, sheltered her, gave her a new life inside Compact, gave her family. She fell hopelessly in love with him, but her dreams were to be thwarted. To the very end, Arcadius sought peace with the new empire. He believed the Compact and the Empire would have to reach reconciliation in order to end the bloodshed, while others within Compact sought a more radical approach. And in the end, it was an angry mob which won. When we took New Eden, the pressure chamber of the furious anger after centuries of brutal oppression burst. And now, and the mobs took to the streets, selling, setting everything ablaze, raped, pillaged, tore down millennia of history. Alice was there that day, when Arcadius stood before the mob, trying to protect the Emperor. He was cut down, killed by the very people he had sought to liberate. And since that day, Alice lost her mind. In the end, she sought justice for Arcadius in her own twisted logic. By seeking the complete annihilation of humankind. She's very well informed. Very well. If you are, if you are to leave Compact into a new age, free of the madness which Alice brought to our cause, then I will gladly take your fleet. Just know that if you prove unworthy of flying the crimson flag, then I will dispose of you myself. I expect nothing less. The Solar Alliance amasses at a full-scale invasion of packed space. Now that the Liberation Day Massacre has occurred, this war will only end in one of two ways. Either we win, or they kill all of us. What must our next move be? They assemble their fleets at Barona, while our forces are still stationed at Serra. The Alliance has thus far won effectively every battle in the war, but now their brightest military minds have been killed at Serra. Their fury will be their undoing. They intend to strike Tethra. Tethra? But that's deep inside packed space, merely a few jumps away from New Eden itself. We have amassed all our ships to Sarah, leaving our interior undefended. The Alliance will seek a target which will deal the most damage to our will, and a heavily populated core world like Tethra would be far too tantalizing a target if they were to remain completely undefended. They will perform a risky multi-stage warp from Barona to Tethra and ignore Sarah altogether. Makes sense. Thus far, Grey was wise enough to avoid such high-risk stratagems, but with him dead and the Alliance voters wanting blood, send messages for the encrypted military channels and form all our ships to amass at Sarah for the final defensive line. The Alliance will no doubt intercept our messages and believe we intend to remain at Sarah. In the meantime, I shall take my fleet and hide in maximum low orbit beyond Thessaroth's moon. When the Alliance fleet warps in, believing we are still at Sarah, 
That will be the end of their offensive, as their ships will now be trapped deep inside pack space, with no safe warp back point to retreat. We will then hunt down the remaining ships of the combined fleet as they scramble out of our territory, until none remain. Very well. We shall see if your predictions come to fruition. Yeah, actually, I think they will, it makes a lot of sense. Emil Kushana. Her strat. Kuyustrana. Her stratagems are the stuff of legend. The new Imperials even whisper she was a time traveler who could foresee the future. At this point, maybe. She could be clawed for all we know. No, I know that Kushana has no secret powers. No lost technology aiding her. Seeming prophetic pro predictions. She is merely that good. Kushana took Fontana's speakerphone and relayed a message to all hands. All hands! I am Vizikar A. Kuskana. What? Vencesar. Vencesar. Newly reinstated High Admiral of the Crimson Fleet. Some of you may have heard my name during the Compact Revolution. I am told that during my absence, the men and women of the Martyr's Banner shamed our cause with such cowardly tactics as bombing unarmed cities, mistreating prisoners of war, and flying with artificial beings who have never understood the meaning of sacrifice. I kind of like the Pact Fleet, I have to admit. Know that as of now, such unbecoming conduct has no place in our fleet. I'll ref I will reform a lot of you until you become sailors worthy of that red uniform. Throughout the past years, everything I've heard about the new Pact Fleet brought nothing but shame and disgust to my heart. We are not the villains of this story. We are proud men and women who fight for freedom, justice, and equality. No longer shall the name of Pact bring forth images of despair, violence, and brutality. The entire galaxy detests us now, and for good reason. For we have brought nothing but great suffering to the common folk of the Neutral Rim and beyond. But soon the entire galaxy shall sing songs of our heroism, of our discipline. We will turn the tide of this war and bring about a new age. Our Pact shall no longer be the evil empire, but the liberators. The age of compact, when we sought peace instead of violence. Freedom instead of blind obedience to demagogues. And equality for all begins today. Kushana out. The bridge crew stood and applauded. I am applauding. Like, fetch, man. Hard to not want to see that succeed. My brothers and sisters, I may be your admiral, but I am merely a soldier in the crimson flag, just like all of you. Oh, she's good. Together, we will turn the tide of the war back to our favor. Perhaps the old days of the Compact Resolution can return, when we travel the stars to liberate ourselves from the new empire. Alice is now dead, and the Fool Shields has been removed from the picture as well. Huh. The end of pa the era of Pact has begun. Dang. Fetch. Ooh. Okay, we'll do this one last bit, and then we're done. <laughs> Arcadius. No! Humanity! Pact! Alliance! Shields! Let's everything burn! Chikara? <laughs> Captain. Captain, 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 Oh, oh, that didn't look healthy. Chikara is coming for you. Uh oh. That bodes very badly. Okay. And that's where we're going to end for today. Oh, good! There's a lot more to this left, it looks like. Yes! I was worried we were actually at the end. Oh my gosh. So... Chigara may still be alive, but it doesn't look like she's uh, doing that well. Um... Uh, and then we have Claude, who is back, apparently, and Pat, who I almost agree with, is uh, still in charge and going to do some devastation to the Alliance, so uh, I'm excited. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being a part of the series. I am so 
so loving every second of this game. I love it so much. I love the characters too. I have no idea what's going to happen next. Uh, but I will say this. Apparently all the girls propositioning to us, I wonder if it means that we're going to potentially seek out a new relationship if we can recover from the last one. If that's the case, don't spo well, maybe spoil the fact that that could be the case. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, maybe throw out your votes. I'd love to hear who you think would be the most appealing choice. I know who I, in my heart of hearts, think I would pick out of like the lineup that was presenting themselves. Uh, which is all of them, pretty much. Uh, but I want to hear what your thoughts are without saying mine. So we'll see what happens. But until the next video we watch, or whatever I've been seeing next, I'll see you there.